Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tree from treeoflogic.com, and I'm here to represent Juicy Smollett, ready to teach you how to get FOMO years of Trump in just 20 easy steps. Are you ready? Here we go. Step number one, mail a death threat letter drawn by a kid in red crayon to the recording studio of your TV series. Step number two, buy bleach. Don't matter the brand, any will do. Step number three, hire two Nigerians. Make sure to pay them a measly $3,500 to help you pull off a hate crime hoax. That way, it will be easy for them to snitch on you when they get caught. Step number four. Tell the two Nigerians to wear face masks and to walk down East North Water Street in Chicago so that their presence is captured by surveillance cameras above. Step number five. Go Jesus Christ, that's even worse than if you were trying to get a better part on Empire. <laughs> Try to get a better, like a, a more more airtime on Empire. Shit. So we'll go through this piece here. It says Empire star Jussie Smollett staged attack over dissatisfaction with salary. Indeed, it's a case that's gripped the U.S. and even prompted a lashing from Donald Trump. Now a judge has dramatically unloaded on the star. Probably not the best choice of words there. Probably not the best choice, but we'll go with it anyway. Look, I found this story fascinating. And I'm uh, in Australia here. Right? I've been keeping track of this, mainly through um, Tim Pool's channel, Timcast. Great coverage and the amazing Lucas. Of Go to Subway in minus nine degree weather and buy yourself a delicious sub sandwich. Be sure to leave at 2 a.m. Step six, place the rope around your neck after you got beat up. Pour a little bleach on yourself. Don't get any on your sandwich. And then casually, Walk home. Step seven, arrive to your apartment and tell your friend that you got your ass beat by some white supremacist. Your friend is going to be so outraged that he's going to make you call the police. Step eight, keep the rope around your neck until the police arrives. Now I know what you're saying. Keep the rope around my neck until the police arrive. What the hell? Do you want four more years of Trump? Do you? Because this is how you get four more years of Trump. Now listen to me. When the police arrive, tell them to turn off their body cameras. Step number nine, blame Whitey. This plan is not gonna work if you don't blame the white man. Make sure to tell the police that two racist white men walked up to you and said, aren't you that faggot empire nigger? Now it's important that you put emphasis that the two races are white. That way it'll be listed as a hate crime and it will involve the FBI. And we all love it when the feds get involved. Step 10, have your friend drive you to the hospital. Be sure to call your manager and tell him what happened so he can get in on the action. Of course, uh, both uh, recommend both those channels. So it says, Empire actor Jussie Smollett's bond has been set at 100,000, which is 141,000 Australian dollars, in his first court appearance for disorderly conduct after it was alleged he filed a false police report last month. The charge relates to Smollett telling authority. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? So I am back and we're here to talk about the Jussie Smollett case, the incident, the investigation. And as you know, when we talk about this topic, we have to have the ceremonial wreath around the neck. This needs to be placed on. Oh, yes, okay. Yep, now I can talk about this case because I paid tribute to the Jussie Smollett. <laughs> So the story is that this, that his story is complete bullshit. That's the story. It's fake as hell. It was a hoax all along. That's what's going on here. This guy is a disgrace. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Like, you got to laugh and think, Fuck. I mean, the ramifications of this thing actually being real would have been massive, right? And he was like putting all that on the line. It seems like just to get more money. 
he was dissatisfied with his salary. That's right, I'm not making this up. That is actually true. That's what's going on here. That's how ridiculous this whole thing is. Step 11. When the police call you for a second interview, tell them that you forgot to mention that the two white supremacists who beat your ass, pour bleach on you, and put a rope around your neck also said, this is mega country before running away. Hasta la vista, baby.